They named their band after a Toledo steamroller company. Buffalo Springfield was born. We really believed at that time that there was no competition but the Beatles. That was who we were. Re we really figured that we were in competition with the Beatles. We thought we were. <laughs> we thought we were that good. Dewey Martin, Bruce Palmer, and a young Canadian named Neil Young. While the band was supporting their second album, Buffalo Springfield Again, bassist Bruce Palmer was busted for marijuana possession twice in a single evening. The Canadian was ultimately deported. The band's engineer, Jim Messina, replaced him. Jim and his Buffalo Springfield bandmates released Last Time Around in 1968. Ironically, the album would also mark the last time around for the band. I knew there were problems with personalities in the group. After three albums and just 19 months together, the members of Buffalo Springfield went their separate ways. Richie Fure and Jim Messina formed a new band. They called themselves Poco. Jimmy and I just really thought about the idea of we want to we want to continue something, we want to do something. Let's cross country music with rock and roll. The band never achieved mass appeal. By 1973, both Jim Messina and Richie Fure had left the band. I wanted to be a rock and roll star. And I wanted to be a rock and roll star in the, in the same light that I saw a lot of my friends. You know, Steve, Stills, Neil Young. That list also included Richie's old buddy, Jim Messina. In 1972, Jim formed a successful collaboration with songwriter Kenny Loggins. And it's all because your mama don't dance and your daddy don't rock. Loggins and Messina released nine albums and scored hits with Danny's song and your mama don't dance. But after seven years together, Jim Messina once again walked away. I was exhausted. My marriage was not working. Um, I felt that it was important to take some time out with that, to take some time out for myself. So where are the members of Buffalo Springfield now? For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. If anybody would have told me that I'm going to be doing today what I'm doing, that I'm going to be pastor in a church in Boulder. Um, you know, when I was really striving to be a rock and roll star, I would have laughed at him and said, you're out of your mind. Since 1982, Richie has been a pastor at the Calvary Chapel in Boulder, Colorado, and continues to make music. I went in and sang like a smoke rain day when the wind blows. He released In My Father's House, an album of contemporary Christian music. Nothing tops the recognition Richie received when Buffalo Springfield was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. In 1999, fellow Springfield bandmates Stephen Stills and Neil Young briefly reunited with CSNNY. Both bass player Bruce Palmer and drummer Dewey Martin are semi-retired. As for Jim Messina, he's come to the aid of his fellow artist. He started the Songwriters Performance Workshop. We work on the lyrics, we work on the melodies. Uh, at the end of the workshop, we usually do a concert in the round, which is open to the public. Jim is also raising his son, Julian. I've been raising a, a son as a single parent for about six years, and that has been a real um, challenging but enjoyable experience. Jim Messina and Richie Fure have found peace. Would I like to have a hit record? Well, I still like to be out there and, and play to people that, you know, those live audiences. Uh, yeah, I still wanted, I, I still do have my heart's uh, desire to, to get out and, and, and to still do that. But you know what? I, I, I have had a life that has been blessed. I fell in love the first time.